Slums are prevalent in the majority of large cities in developing countries. They account for about a third of the urban population in these countries. Most slums lack adequate sanitation and pipe water supply. Poverty and crime are widespread. Why do so many people still choose to move to slums? Is it because of rural poverty? Is it due to bad opportunities at large metropolitan areas? Or is it due to government regulation over the use of land? To address these questions, we built an equilibrium spatial model of a city with rural urban migration and housing choice, consistent with the urbanization process of Sao Paulo, Brazil. Our research shows that urban poverty, inequality, and rural urban migration are key factors explaining slum growth in Sao Paulo for the past four decades. We also show that building regulations and transportation costs are key determinants of the location of slums within a city. A weak public transportation network can lead to slums closer to the business district. We also find that public infrastructure upgrading in slums is welfare enhancing, but can also induce more people to move to slums. In a follow-up analysis using high-frequency GPS location data of millions of mobile devices in Brazil, we show that residents of slums engaged in less social distancing after the outbreak of COVID-19 and account for a disproportionately high number of deaths. Even considering the fact that slum residents are in general younger than non-slum dwellers. The main takeaway from our research is that it's very important to think about the structure of the cities and how urban policies impact them. Although improvements in slum infrastructure can potentially induce more people to live in such areas, they can be welfare enhancing for slum residents. Balancing this trade-off is a key challenge for policymakers in developing countries.